Shakurus has fallen, and Amon's grip tightens. If we are to stand against him, we will need more than warriors. As Hierarch, I was made aware of a location where our Kalai scientists experimented on new weaponry in secret. Within the Glacius facility, the Purifier program has been reborn. We must recover this immensely powerful technology. Glacius facility. Within lies the greatest weaponry the Empire ever developed. It is the site of the Purifier Revival Program. Purifiers? The forbidden weapon? They were sealed away by the Conclave, never to be restored. The ancient purifiers are not kept here, Preserver. They are still locked away. Here, on Glacius, our researchers have been developing prototype weaponry inspired by that ancient technology. You speak above your caste, Kalai. This is unimaginable heresy. We are outmatched by Amon's forces and facing annihilation. If this technology may help us, we will use it. unleashed his servants. Ready our warriors! The rulings of the Conclave mean nothing to the Nerezim. We must discard the past divisions to pursue the future. The Talarim? They have not been seen since the Aeon of Strife. Before the Protoss were united by the Kala's Light. I'm afraid they returned some time ago, Rohana. We thought them fanatical servants of the Zelnaga for years. But in truth, they had enslaved themselves to Amon. Why would any being willingly follow Amon? That is unclear. The Tal'Darim call themselves the Chosen. What Amon has chosen them for, we do not know. They are dangerous foes who have helped forge the hybrid and shed blood in the name of our great enemy. Protoss turned upon Protoss. The Deul demands retribution for such offense. They must be destroyed. If it is their fate, it shall be. The purifier weaponry that has been researched here could prove to be a valuable addition to our arsenal. That is what I am hoping. Is there any merit to Rohana's fears? The Kalai on Glacius have prototyped the technology with successful results. It is said that these experimentations are no different than the Templar they are replications of, a byproduct of quantum predictive analytics. They were and are still only machines. Do not give them such credence, Karax. We too are machines of a biological nature. I often marvel at the architecture, the design, the careful construction of our form, our machinery. The Zelnaga forged us as we forged the original purifiers. Many of my Dark Templar have volunteered to act as scouts for us. They will keep us aware of Amon's movements. Good to know. That was should. Had to keep us an update what he has been up to. For now. What's happening? If we are to obtain the purifier technology, then we must move quickly. The Tal'Darim are preparing to fire upon the facility. So the purifier weapons is online and fighting off the Taldarim.
The Tal'Darim are unleashing their mothership's phase displacement beam against Glacius's orbital defenses. I am First Descendant Alarak, and I've been charged with destroying this facility. You seek the technology vault, but you are too late. It will be annihilated along with the rest of this pathetic world. Use your time to withdraw from the system, or remain here, and watch your forces burn to ash. I care little which you choose. He is not entirely correct. If we begin now, our forces could outpace the displacement beam. Then we are going in! The displacement beam is advancing. We must reach the vault before it is destroyed. amassing outside of our nexus point. We must prepare for assault. Wait, these sentries were left behind. Let me activate them. They are quite effective at restoring shields to nearby warriors. are now calibrated to warp them in as well. You have not enough minerals. are near the displacement beam. We must remain alert and stay out of its range. It appears the station scientists were storing raw solarite here as well. If possible, we should obtain it. Excellent. Solarite gathered. with more sentries. I will activate them now. It shall be as you say.
established a large stronghold here. Templar, pull back. We do not have time to engage this base. Centuries online. Centuries from stasis. I serve. Hyrock, I'm detecting movement from the Taldurin fleet. Multiple transport signatures inbound on the facility. Warp prisms. Clever. Alarak is activating the facility's old defenses, using them against us. Solarite sample obtained.
shadows. Access. Work quickly, Faye Smith. Focus the disruptor on their location. Let them burn. I have its coordinates. Warping aboard the container now. You are not as weak as you appear, Artemis. We shall meet again. The purifier weaponry is safely aboard the Spear of a Dune. Wait. There is a prototype warrior here as well. I will have to examine it more closely. You 
wish to see me, Smith. Artanus, it is good to see you, young executor. Phoenix? How... how can this be? It was his cloned personality that was used for the Purifier prototype. Given your friendship with the Source personality, I thought... well... He believes he was brought from Stasis and made a Dragoon. Why are you here, Phoenix? I was given a directive by Ogdaris himself to come to Glacius and serve the Templar. It is the last recollection from his memory web. The Great Templar were still encoded by order of the Conclave. Do you know about the experimentation done on Glacius? Why Aldaris gave you this order? I am a warrior, old friend. You know this as well as any. It is not my place to question the order of Adjudicator. This construction is highly advanced. An Adanium shell composed of a Trillic compression mesh. It appears he was to be the first in a revival of the ancient program. Enough! I have fought far too long for the will of the Conclave to be examined like some specimen. I am Templar, and I am reunited with the dearest of friends. Is this not a glorious day? You are right, of course. Carax, these tests are no longer needed. Phoenix, welcome aboard the Spear of Adun. You and I have stood shoulder to shoulder, blades thrumming in the heat of battle countless times, and now you leave the Protoss. I well with pride at the mere thought of it. I was chosen to represent the hierarchy by the remaining Judicators and the clans of the Nerezim. I am still honored by their choice. Tassadar must be proud as well. Tassadar is gone, Phoenix. He fell, bravely sacrificing for his people. He saved us from annihilation. What? It... it cannot be. And... I... fallen to the Zerg as well? It has. How long have I lingered in stasis, becoming this... Dragoon? Do you know of the Purifier program, Phoenix? Of course. The greatest Templar minds replicated. Dangerous machines that had to be shut down. They were shut down, but we have never ceased the research, and still have tried to find ways to replicate our greatest Templar, to use that ancient technology. Why do you tell me this? I... I... We are facing a war like none we have seen before. We will need you in the days ahead. Maybe even the purifiers. Then my blades are yours, old friend. These new purifier designs rival any technology our people have previously conceived. The replication data is the sort that allows accurate duplication of one's consciousness. Phoenix's personality may be accurate. How accurate? Within the 99th percentile. So there is a chance for discrepancy. Quite a minuscule one. And in a lifetime, how many choices does that variation impact? Who would you be with such a difference in the decisions you've made? Keep a watchful eye on Phoenix. If he is to help us, I want to know who he is. We have acquired new robotic support technology for review. The enemy shall be purified.
Our scouts are reporting Amon's forces are conquering system after system. We must choose our plan of attack carefully, Hierarch. Seeing Phoenix once more perplexes me. I feel sadness, but I should feel joy. It is said the warrior Phoenix was felled by the Queen of Blades. This approximation is not Phoenix, but he is a reminder of the loss you suffered. His voice, thoughts, his very presence. He describes memories we shared with such vivid recollection. Every instinct I have tells me that this is my friend, but all logic defies it. We of the Nerezim often ponder whether our people are the sum total of their experiences, or are more than them. A truth lingering inside us. In time, we shall see if this phoenix has his own truth, or is little more than a flawed forgery. Hold fast, my people. I will come for you as soon as I can. I will do everything in my power to survive this war. master construction of the Zelnaga now. Their understanding that energy, essence, and information are all one. Each interchangeable, each mutable. Then you uncovered the information Zeratul foresaw within this keystone. I have. From what I understand, it will lead us to Ulnar. Ulnar? It is a place of myth. A realm whispered of in our legends. The home world of the Zelnaga. I believe the Keystone can project its location. Show me, Karax. within such unrelenting forces. It appears I have failed you, Hierarch. I do not believe so, Karax. It is said that the Zelnaga came from a place where no life should be. This aligns with Zeratul's prophecies. We will go in. Make preparations at once. Zeratul, many thought you mad. And yet, once more, you have seen truer than us all. The Keystone leads us into the Altarian Rift, to the Zelnaga home of Ulnar. It is my destiny to carry your mantle, old friend. I will wake the Zelnaga and honor your legacy. Zeratul foresaw the Keystone would lead us here is uncanny. It is now clear that it was this device's primary purpose. Zeratul was in touch with an expression of reality beyond my understanding. This place should not exist. 
It defies all decrees of science, shatters all understanding of astral mechanics. I once thought we Protoss had reached the pinnacle of attainable knowledge. I was a fool. There is far more in the galaxy than exists within Protoss understanding, friend Carax. I know this now. Phoenix, you appear distressed. Apologies, Hierarch. I have been pondering the events that brought me here. I have discovered there are holes in my memory. Battles recorded here in the ship's archives that I should be able to recall, but cannot. What is it you have found? Records of my defeat at Antioch and being revived as a dragoon. But this body, it is clear to me that I am no dragoon. There is more to those records, Phoenix. But what you uncover may not be desirable. I am willing to face the truth, old friend, however difficult it may be. Then I hope you find the answers you seek. The War Council awaits you, Hierarch. It is hard to believe we stand above Ulnar, the home of the Ihan Ri, the Zelnaga. The Judicators theorized the Zelnaga left Ayr to return to a place such as this. It is said they slumbered through the ages. Zeratul believed the artifact would lead us unto hope. The Zelnaga may be the hope he spoke of. If the legends are true, then the Zelnaga are below, awaiting their children to awaken them. Then let us hope so. Hierarch. It appears we cannot receive transmissions while we are within the rift. We have been cut off. The Spear of Adun's sensors have located what appears to be an access way into the temple. Our starships are prepared to move on your command. Here lies the resting place of the Zelnaga. We must find a way to unseal this access way if we are to awaken them. Grand Preserver, what do you know of the temple in the depths below? Only myth, legend. Here upon Ulnar, the destined races will seek ascension. Their very presence shall open the way forward. I believe these celestial locks are the key. Our forces should claim them in the hopes the way forward presents itself. Hyrock, the Taldarim are here. They are taking control of the Celestial Locks. Stargates can now warp in phoenixes. They are extremely mobile and effective at engaging our enemy across long distances. Teleport successful.
minerals. Zerovac, Cryo! I stalk through the stars. Once Amon's forces have been defeated, our warrior's presence should allow us to lay claim to the lock. I will comply. On the wings of justice. Understood. The Tal'Darim have deployed a titanic warp prism. If its core is similar to our own, the reactor is made of pure solarite. If possible, we should destroy it and claim the reactor to enhance our solar core. Understood. La Farah. Amon's forces are inbound to our nexus point. Successful. I am the skies await. Teleport successful. Now for Rosh. Time for battle. I will comply. Engaging the enemy. You require more victory. I am engaging the enemy. I am here. Upgrade complete. On the wing, engaging the enemy. Cargo aboard for further study. 
I saw it. The lock is now ours. These energy patterns indicate once we control the other four, the temple will open. Successful. Teleport successful. We are one in the shadows. We move unseen. Servants are moving to seize a lock. Upgrade complete. Our pylon is under attack. This warrior awakens. forces have claimed a mechanism.
shadows. Teleport 
successful. Anna Sirapak, cry on! have been captured, Hierarch. The access way is opening. It seems Amon's forces have drawn back. I sense only a great stillness from within the temple. Then we have succeeded. It will not be long before we see what fate has in store for us. I'm afraid the Spear of Adun will not be able to assist you inside the temple. 
Please be careful, High Rock. Amon's forces arrived here before we did. The temple may already be under his control. Zeratul believed the other Zelnaga were here, and that they would stand with us against Amon. They could end the war. My people could be free once again. Then why have the Zelnaga not answered us? I am going into the Ulnar Temple alone, Matriarch. I do not intend to risk any more lives. You risk your own life on the word of a traitor. He killed your mother, Vorazun. That is true. But he was never a traitor. I do not wish for death. Only to see Zeratul's visions fulfilled. You will return. That much, I believe. My warriors cannot aid me in the battle ahead. This burden is mine to bear. The Starfighters have arrived, and they await your evaluation. Where shall we march? I am returned. I am here in the shadow. I am returned. I am here. It is a good day to die. Skies await. Since we arrived here, the Keystone has reacted strangely. It's as if it is attuned to the energies below. Energies below? Yes. Void energies exude from this place. I believe this world is a conduit between dimensions. And the Keystone acts as if siphoning these energies. This is entirely different from how the Origin Point information was stored. As if the Keystone was reconfigured for a second purpose. Let us hope that the Zelnaga themselves can reveal the truths you're looking for. find below, but I know I must go alone. You are in command of the Spear of Adun now. Until you return, Artemis. 